sorry about that. My phone stopped the video saying I had no more space, no more storage. So I had left off speaking about Malaysia and there are other dark skinned women, brown skinned women. So that had nothing to do with colorism, which it does though. But I want to move on now and address Evelyn and her problem with OG. I do not like the fact that she continuously wanted to call this young lady ugly because that's another thing that people say about darker skinned people that they are ugly undesirable so i understand why og had to let her know like no i'm not that ugly men do desire me and you're not on a higher pedestal than me because even your man was interested in me and what i seen from out of that evan went and contacted him right so, before she's saying that this is her abuser, but then she goes to contact him because she's so pissing this under her skin. Like, yeah, right, she can't get pull the type of man I can pull. And this so-called abuser she contacts, when she was sitting on the couch speaking with the ladies, she stated, like, yeah, I hit him up, uh, my friend, or he's still my homie, or something like that. How is he your abuser? But, number one, this is years later after y'all divorced, you still have his number, so y'all still been in contact. Um... All this time but the so-called your abuser and now since you've hit him up he's your homie this not other because why else would you feel so comfortable to contact your so-called abuser who you are divorced from so i didn't like that that he instantly became someone who she's cool with and then she tried to use that weaponize that against og to make og seem delusional and and so forth when actually he chad played her to make her believe and think because clearly they still have some type of interaction something going on so, um, OG brought out the truth of those receipts. And now it goes back to, she's taunting me with my abuser. No, you tried to taunt her with your so-called abuser by trying to say she can pull that type of man and he wouldn't be interested in her if he's interested in you. So, I don't got time for that bullshit. That makes me even think more that, yeah, that she's a liar and whatever happened in their situation, it couldn't have been that bad or you couldn't feel that um, it was all on him, his fault. If you still know his number, got his number in contact with him and felt comfortable enough to call him to check him about who he's talking to or dating and all of that, right? So then moving on, I didn't like that. And then she wanted to go talking about that, no, she's Afro-Latino. She has never, ever deemed herself as Afro-Latino out of all these years. She has never once said, I'm Afro-Latino. It has always been just that she's Latino. But now, since you're attacking the black woman, you've been called out on that colorism. Now, all of a sudden, you Afro-Latino. And I didn't like how Shani handled any of that either, especially trying to, they tried to block her from being able to come to the reunion right because they wanted to shut her voice down this is the chick here now that's calling us on our bullshit that's going out of eye with us and she's getting in our ass doing it they wanted to get rid of her and i didn't like that that you go to the law it's another thing that white supremacy does which is attack blacks through the law to make them seem like oh they're the bad guy they're this that, they're that so you try and get her blocked from being able to go on a show because they wanted to be at peace with being able to spin the story and make a narrative of their own without having someone contradict them what they're saying so that's why they were fighting hard to have her not be there and i'm so glad that she decided to come because i'm like no girl don't let them shut your voice out this is what they want to do from the get-go sit on that other stage and wear their asses out and put call them to the carpet so shiny you get caught out on this and she goes on live right to so-called address this issue you could tell by her whole demeanor she was being condescending she was basically said fuck you to y'all and then oh my god that pissed me off and that really showed me what type of she was smug it showed me her arrogance and her she just had too much audacity to come at viewers her fans and dress like that so due to her behavior you could tell that that wasn't heartfelt the her sponsors um the people who back her run her they told her, like, no, you got to get in front of this camera and you got to say something. And she didn't even, she's so arrogant, right, that this chick didn't even have enough sense to say, okay, let me humble myself. Let me spin this the best way. She basically just said, mm -mm, she, ain't, she ain't play along at all. Like, okay, I'm going to get in front of the camera and I'm still about to say fuck all the viewers, fuck what y'all saying, fuck what y'all talking about. And I, I, I didn't like it. And that they would attack and go after a woman with, oh, she's aggressive, she's threatening, that type of bullshit. When these hoes, then the, oh, and they, like Shani, you, Shani's the one who pushed Kristen, and then Kristen turned around and checks OG. She's an instigating 
evil type of chick, right? Um, Kristen turned around to check OG, and OG told her, I, ain't, I didn't touch you. And then Shiny Lion, as you just hit, the, push this chick, and then Shiny Lion, I was talking about, yes, you did. You did that. Why would you do that? Why are you trying to set up, instigate, and provoke? You know what I'm saying? So then it came a matter of they began to try and provoke situations to get OG to behave a certain way so they could continue to spin and push the narrative that this is an aggressive woman that shouldn't be around. Um, I'm just I'm just through with these chicks. Like, Shani on the live also made the comments about um, not being a colorist or something like that. But she is. Yeah, these women be having dark-skinned children. And they still go after other dark-skinned women. Just like Malaysia sitting on a couch. You had no problem bullying this chick all season with these other girls. Putting her down. Demeaning her on every front that y'all could. To get on the couch and when she called you out for using makeup or bleaching your skin to appear lighter. Then you want to say, why are we putting each other down? Why you just two minutes ago you were just putting her down? And now all of a sudden is why are we putting each other down? They, they do that shit, try and play victim, try and play like they taking a high road when they are agitators, they're liars, they're shit starters, they weak as hell, they bullies, um, they jealous, they have a lot of hatred, colorism, all that. Like, no, girl, you got a lot of nerve. And then an audience sitting there clapping like, y'all didn't just hear her just dogging her just a minute ago. And now she wants to say, let's stop putting each other down. Why you ain't tell yourself and your crew, the other ditzy bitches, let's not do this. All season y'all been doing this and you ain't said shit. You added and participated in it. So I don't like that either. They just hypocrites. They trying to paint a narrative and bad picture of her when they are really the ones that's the villains. Y'all have physically attacked people. Y'all have made threats to people. Y'all have thrown stuff, been very disruptive. And in my opinion, way more than what OG has. But she's a dark-skinned girl. She doesn't fit into y'all idea of classism and having a certain look demeanor. She's not a gold digging groupie like y'all. Just like one of them talking about she um, don't have a job. She, ain't, What are you talking about? This woman just retired from football. That's It's totally different from being fired or not having a job and retiring from one. These hoes ain't got nothing to retire from. So... It's just, it's a lot of jealousy going on as well, like I stated. And then the fact that these are all grown women behaving like this, who have daughters themselves, and this is the example that y'all showing to them. This is the image y'all want to put out of yourselves and the black women, you know, where there's no camaraderie between them. And y'all grown women teaming up bullying, because some of them, it's not even, they just going along with the flow, like, oh, that's like Phoebe. A follower. You a grown-ass woman following these other grown-ass women who are sad as fuck. And you sitting here, oh, okay, well, this the one that they don't like or them, they ain't cool with them. But I'm about to jump on a bandwagon, too. I'm about to mistreat them, too. Like, are you serious? I swear this season had just made me look at them like, these are grown women in their 40s behaving <laughs> like middle school kids. It's, I actually know middle school children because I have nephews that's in middle school who have more dignity, respect, and kindness in their heart than what these old hoes got. It's really, really sad and pathetic. Um, what else did these chicks do? Too much. Cece, I believe that their attack towards her was on the fact that they looked at her as being timid, weak, gentle, and they want to haze and they want to bully. They want to show themselves as, as being dominant. And she's also another one who is marrying someone who's actually an athlete where they done lost their little meal tickets. You know, Evelyn wanted to bring up her talking about you being thirsty for my man. Evelyn has messed with several married men. Her last baby daddy that she just was trying. He was dating someone when she started dating him. He was already with someone. So, and she did not give a fuck. The same with Ultra Cinco. He was already with someone. You mess with Tammy's husband. I do believe that she done mess with some of Shawnee's as well. And I believe that Shawnee packed with her as they both was gold digging hoes. Shawnee just did it better and smarter. And Shawnee decided to get off her back and use these hoes to, um, to pimp them out. And they too dumb to realize that, they, yes, you're being pimped out on a television show. So your legs ain't wide open, but you're still hoeing, basically. Um, it's just a shame, and, and it's pathetic. Like, Evelyn has a lot of nerve, a hypocrite, a liar. They, 
I'm telling y'all, this crap pissed me off so bad. I will never watch the show again. I will never support Shani again. I look at her totally different now. You show me what type of woman you are. You show me the lack of character that you have. Same with Evan and like you just ghetto piece of street trash. Um, at least Shani smart enough to try and have hers a little better. But no, she just exposed herself completely this season on what type of woman she is. Um, Jennifer it really wasn't no, no storyline for her. Malaysia really didn't have a storyline. That's the other thing. Y'all trying to keep OG from coming to the show, coming to the reunion. And she's the only reason why people want to tune in. Not for y'all hoes. She's the only reason people want to tune in. Flat out. But I hope that the show get canceled. Um, and that God deals with them women for their actions. Like, because no, what they just did to this woman is brutal. It is more significant than some people might think this could have literally destroyed and ripped this woman down having to deal with that colorism it could have affected her self-esteem on multiple levels from the classism aspect from the colorism aspect from the just being ostracized and disrespected and rejected no one likes rejection no one likes being ostracized and they did this to this woman continuously and did not give a fuck. But that just tells you how miserable they are. People who are hurting, people who are in pain, people who are in misery like to put it off on other people. They want to make other people feel that way. And that's what them dusty old hoes did. And I'm glad that, that they've been called out on it. That everybody see it for what it is. For what they did. For what they doing. For what type of people they are. And that is the conclusion of what I wanted to say concerning this entire debacle called basketball wives and Tammy she has left the show basically which I did not like that I wanted to see Tammy I, I like Tammy I love her um, but I wish her the best I understand why she decided not to do the show because them hoes will bring you down and put you into bullshit and you gotta be careful with the company that you keep and Tammy realized that and got the fuck away from him rightfully so so salute to Tammy Salute to OG, salute to CC, who doing her thing, and I just wish them the best, and I hope these other ladies learn a lesson, do some self-evaluation of what manner of person they are and what kind of person they want to be and should be, and make the proper adjustments to that, because what they've just put out here to the world ain't nothing cute or okay about it. Ciao.